SEO writer. Okay. I call that copywriting, but um, I guess it's uh, primarily to get results on Google. And um, yeah. how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for um, about five years. And um, yeah, it's been made part of my business. And I also just wrote a book. So I, I do a couple different types of writing. Did you um, sort of get stuck into the whole blogging thing first? I did. I love blogging. Blogging uh, started out as a hobby. And then, you know, one day my website showed up on Google. And I was like, wow, I did that. And then I just, you know, you realize it's not that it's like very formulaic all these like inner workings of the internet and i enjoyed that side of it so started doing it for other people's websites and then it kind of just spiraled into a whole whole freelance business with other people that you help would you tell them um what do they need to do as far as content goes do they need to be blogging as like a must-have if you're creating educational content already say on uh, Instagram or TikTok or Facebook, you need to be putting it on your website because those posts will die within a matter of, let's say, be generous and say a week, they'll, you know, that's their lifespan. But a blog post can be updated routinely every six months and bring you website traffic for years. And, um, and, and what do you do? Do you sort of uh, take over the whole content or do people order a whole bunch of um, articles? Like how, how does it work with the people that you help? Sometimes people come to me, they just want a little bit of help with really big articles, like difficult ones that they want optimized really well. But my main package I do is a retainer offer where I write SEO articles and I put them in clients' websites and I do the whole backend process for them. So they just wake up to an email that says, hey, your article's ready and it's in their website ready.